This is John Black, Super Chemist. If you're on this video, you probably know this, you know this first formula. I'm going to make it simple, right? And then we're going to go to this formula here. I'm going to talk about they lie, they do these videos saying that E equals mc squared is a lie, and then they give you this formula. This formula is a lie too. Yeah. So let's go over this. That you know everyone knows this. Total energy equals potential energy plus kinetic energy. What's kinetic energy? That's like moving. When you're moving, you have energy, you know, you're ener moving energy. What's potential energy? That's your standing still energy, right? Add them both together. You're either standing still or you're moving, right? There's only two things you can be, right? So there's only two kinds of main energy, right? <laughs> Add them up and it's the total energy. That total energy equals relativistic energy, okay? Relativistic mass equals relativistic energy so you could say that that is relativistic mass but when they say that they're not saying that that's a lie that's the first lie okay what they're saying is relativistic mass equals relativistic energy divided by c squared <laughs> they always they always put the divided by c squared in parentheses so you like kind of gloss over it sometimes they don't even put that in they'll just say it equals the same thing no 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 what it is is relativistic mass equals relativistic energy divided divided by c squared see there should be a c divided by c squared there that's where where people are getting things wrong okay when someone says that this total energy equals relativistic mass that's a lie okay I've, I've spent 20 hours looking at this crap. That's what they all did, okay? And, and it, they put it in parentheses, okay? It's divided by C, all right? So, we all know what, you know, potential energy is, right? From high school or whatever, junior high or whatever, right? Here's the, here's the earth. Here's a little tiny tree on the earth. You can see I got a ball on a branch here and a ball on a branch here. You know, if you're on Earth, which one would you want falling on your head? I'd want the one down here, right? Because if you, this one's way up here. It's going to really hurt, man. You can see it has more energy, right? It's going to smash into your face. You want this one to smash into your face. <laughs> if you have to choose one, you know. So that's potential energy, right? And as it drops, it's moving. So now it's getting kinetic energy, right? Now, what is relativistic energy, right? What, 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 this is what it is. And people, I watch these videos, are like, it's a mystery. We don't know what it is. It's just like energy just comes out of nowhere, like magic. They should come over to my house. Okay, I'm going to go shoot an experiment. If you're a woke physicist and you're confused at where this magical extra energy comes from and why it's different in different frames, uh, come over to my house and we'll do this experiment, okay? I'll be this guy right here. You be the woke uh, physicist, right? I will get the ball, right? All three examples that we do, you know, all three experiments, I will throw the ball at 100 miles per hour. We will use the same ball so it has the same mass, same velocity, right? So the same momentum, right? And the first time, and, and you know, you stand a x distance away and i will throw it at you and i want you to feel okay how it hurts okay uh, it has a certain amount of energy doesn't it now i'm going to have a little physicist and he's going to run towards me and when he gets to the same distance you know i'll throw it so that he gets to hit with the ball right here right he's going to run towards me at 100 miles an hour and i'm going to throw the ball at 100 miles an hour okay now a little little child a two-year-old could say that you're going to get hurt more in this in, in situation because uh, you, it's going to hurt more. You're running at the ball and he's throwing the ball at you, okay? Now, what if you're this guy and he's running, t you know, the same direction as the ball to the right, right? So the, and I throw the ball so that it hit, hits him, you know, he is at the same spot as the other ones were, you know, same distance in between. But he's moving at 90 miles an hour the same direction as the ball. So it's only going to feel like the ball is going 10 miles an hour, right? He's, he's not going to barely hear it, uh, feel it. Hurts less, right? 
Now, is there some kind of magic thing here? Is this what, what? You can see right in the word, relative. Relativistic, relative. You can't have relativity without having two things, right? Can't can't be relative to something else if there's not. You gotta have something else. There gotta be two things, all right? Is is there being this ball has the same energy every time, every instance? It's thrown at the same velocity, same mass, same everything, same distance between them. Uh, you, you added or took away the energy that the ball had when it hit you. Okay. See, why is relativistic mass relative? Because the kinetic energy is dependent. It's dependent on the running, running man's vector or the frame's vector. If the, if the guy is, is running towards the ball, uh, obviously he's going to get hurt more than if he's running away from the ball. That's common sense. It's not magic. It's an, there's no mystery. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you added the energy. <laughs> In this instance, this guy added the energy. This guy took the energy away. It wasn't that this ball magically had more energy or less energy. It's just that combined with your energy, you changed the energy that's going to be happening, happening if you hit, get hit by the ball. <laughs> it's not magic. A three-year-old knows this, okay? They act like it's... Uh, man. <laughs> okay, so let's get up to here. Remember, we said that what, what's the uh, kinetic energy is the moving, Potent, potential energy is the standing still, and the total is the relativistic energy. Okay. Now, you've heard the E equals mc squared. You've heard on videos a million of them saying that this is actually the thing. You should square all the pieces involved and add this PC on here, right? This is a lie. Okay. This is an. I spent 20 hours doing looking at these equations. This it, it, no. This p okay for momentum, it is not uh, m v okay like re rest mass times velocity. No, that would be a little p right. This right here is a big p. See, there's a difference between a big p and a little p that they're showing us right and that's what screws everybody up right because a big p is gamma rest mass velocity okay so you can see there's a big difference here between gamma mass velocity and mass velocity are two different things all right that's the confusion okay now remember i said if you look in every book Unless they leave out the parentheses at the end, every single time, okay, that they say relativistic mass equals relativistic energy, they have parentheses after it saying divided by C, okay? So what they're saying is this, okay? <coughs> okay, so this, this in parentheses here, right, this is actually what this is, okay? This should actually be scribbled off, right? And put and leave the plus sign and put this here because that is the true formula. And when we go into the next whiteboard, we'll redo this because I do not like this. This is a lie. Okay, well, I have a big P, so I'm telling the truth at least. But this is more accurate, okay? Because it tells the truth more, okay? Because look how it sounds now, right? This part right here, this kinetic energy, right? This this A squared. And I want to show you too. Look how it's. You, you just see how it's Pythagorean's theorem. Everything always relates to Pythagorean's theorem. Okay, these people act like everything is so complicated. No, Pythagorean theorem. This is what it says, right? Because you got your pretend kinetic energy of moving, rest energy, standing still, total energy, right? This, when you have a right triangle, right? These two sides right here, the purple and the orange, they add up to this area right here, right? And I know these are all different units. If you took all the units off and you made a right triangles, this is what you'd have. You'd have the purple and the orange. Their areas would add up exactly to that red. And look about it. If you tried to close that mouth, right, by, you know, putting that red part down onto the orange part more, you're going to make this smaller, right? But that area gets transferred to this until these two things are the same exact slide, size. And then when it closes up, you got two even sides, an orange one and a, and a red one, right? But the, the 
you know, it's C squared plus B equals B squared plus A squared, right? It's Pythagorean theorem, man. The, uh, this right here is the uh, kinetic energy, right? The momentum energy, the moving energy, right? And that's here, right? The orange is the rest energy right here. Uh, and that's the total rest energy. And then you got the, and then this adds up to them too, right? Which is here, C squared. And that is the total uh, energy or relativistic energy. Okay. <laughs> now when they say that relativistic mass equals relativistic energy, this is what they're saying. Because remember I said that they always have a parentheses after it saying divided by C. <laughs> I'm going to tell you exactly what they're saying, okay? All right. Let's pretend that this is not in here, okay? Here. We'll slide this over into there. That's the actual true formula, right? So what they're saying is this, okay? This, this gamma rest mass, okay? This is the relativistic mass, okay? This M right here, right, is the rest mass, right? But this whole thing, this whole, not just the gamma mass, but the whole thing, right? That's the, that's the moving kinetic energy, right? Over here you have mass, and then the whole thing is the energy. Because they're like converting it, right? Here's your rest mass, they multiply it by two velocities, cc, and they turn it into joules, right? Over here, they got gamma mass, right? Which is your uh, moving mass, uh, your relativistic mass, right? They multiply it by two velocities, v and c, right? And then they square it, just like over here. And that whole thing, that whole thing, right? That is the energy, right? So, let's go down to an example here. Let's say you have a, uh, your rest, uh, you have no kinetic energy, right? You're just sitting there, right? Like a lump on a log. Uh, you can take out this one part about the kinetic part, right? Because if you're not moving, right? And then you end up with E squared and this MC squared that's squared. But you can square root both sides. If you do want something to one side, you can do it to the other, right? And it'll stay, every, everything will stay equal. So if I square root both of these sides, they end up with E equals MC squared. The ball's at rest, right? Energy is in joules, kilogram meter squared per second squared, right? The M is rest mass, the C is the speed of light, MC squared is the rest energy, right? You see what I'm saying? M is the rest mass, right? MC squared is the rest energy, okay? So you can call, and this is what I'm talking about when you're saying relativistic mass equals relativistic energy. This is what you're trying to say, but they put it in parentheses and then everyone pretends those parentheses don't exist. What they're saying is this. Now listen, <coughs> this rest mass, you can either call it rest mass or you can call it rest energy in mass units. Okay? MC squared, you can call that rest energy, right? Or you can call it rest mass with energy units. See what I'm saying? They're the same thing. They're just in different units. It's like dollars and, and rubles or dineros, right? You can say you have ten dollars <coughs> in in American dollars, and I don't know what. Let's say rubles are five. You know, for you know, you see what I'm saying? Even though I have ten dollars in cash, I could say, well, I have five dollars, and I could I could say I have five dollars in rubles instead of American ten dollar American dollars. <laughs> They're the same thing. I don't really have the rubles. I have the dollars. Same with the rubles. If I, if I have five rubles and they, they equal ten dollars in America, even though I only have five rubles, I can say, well, same five, uh, you know, rubles is, is the same as, or dinero, dineros is the same as saying, you know, ten dollars. You know, they're, they're the same thing. That's what they're trying to say, right? So when you look up here, you got your, Mat, your re, uh, you got your rest mass. You convert it into your rest energy. Over here, you have your your moving mass, right? You convert it, right, and then all of it is turned into energy, so that they all have joules. 
and then you add them up, 